Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to paint the clouds and birds. You can see the materials that I use in the description. I'd love to see how you do and give you my feedback. So if you can, come join me on Patreon and access my full learning center. This video is sponsored by Enjoying Our Brushes. These creative brushes give you a whole different experience in watercolor painting. Learn more and order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. We're going to directly paint. We can ignore the bird, just directly paint it the clouds first. Okay, I'm going to start from the top. I'm using this uh, present blue. Here you go. Put it over here. And I'm going to mix that with the red so they appear to be a lot darker than just the blue. Okay, I'm going to take the red color from the corner over here. Okay, and also make it a little bit more appear to be a little bit more gray because this is um, green shade blue color. And I'm going to just put it right here. Like that. Let's take a look. I'm going to make it even darker and make the color a little bit thicker. Okay, here we go. Right here. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit more blue. Just put it on. All right, this is good. Now I'm going to continue coming down. Just get a little bit water. Have with, when we mix the water with the color over here, it will appear to be a little bit gray, like that. Okay, this is good. And the bottom over here, I'm going to just remove the excess color. It would keep coming down. Okay, here we go. I'm going to just have it coming a little bit like this. This is good. All right, I'm going to continue down over here. I'm going to have this, a little bit of this gray color on the top over here. Just tap on it. That's just fine. So we're going to see how it's going to come out. And gradually, we're going to change it. And now, let's think, uh, think about that. A little bit more orange in this color. Just take the yellow and the red, will be orange color, and press a little bit of the red color. And with a little blue, okay, that's just good. Now I'm gonna have this coming down like this. There you go, like that. And come a little bit over here. That's just the area for the birds. So I'm gonna have this is a little bit lighter, like that. And coming over here, have a little bit yellow. A little bit lighter, right here. Very soft. Okay. And coming up over here, now connect the color over. This is fine, like this. This is good. Now I'm gonna have this coming down. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna have a little bit softer. And leave a little light shape. That's just good. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer edge. Okay, that's good. Coming over here, now I can use the water, just make it a little bit lighter. Over here, that's good. And the top over here, let go of those excess color. And now at the bottom over here, I'm going to continue. Have a little bit more yellow. Have a little bit red. Okay, more yellow. Okay, take this color over, and here you go. I'm gonna come over here. Just use the side of this and let it get a little bit softer. Okay, like that. And also gonna put this a little bit, a little bit softer over here too. Okay, here you go. And 
Wonderful. Now, with this color, I'm going to make this a little bit softer. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker. Get a little bit thicker color. And a little bit thicker orange. Okay, here we go. Like that. And continue. Now on this side, I'm going to have a little bit more brownish color. Just get a little bit blue. That's good. Like that. That's wonderful. Now I'm going to do a little lifting. And this needs to be lighter. Just use the brush. Just light up the color. And over there too. Make the outside edge also a little bit softer. That's just good. And the bottom over here, let go. And then take a look at the top over here. I'm gonna have a, this getting drier. Now I'm gonna have this color coming back over here. Yeah, and a little bit more blue. Here you go, like that. A little bit softer like this. Here you go. Okay, this is coming down. Okay, I don't have to make it too even. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit softer like that. Let go of the color and let those color coming out here. A little bit more blue. That's good. A little bit more. That's good. Okay. Now I'm also going to have a little bit more brownish color. Take the red and the yellow. That's orange. Get a little bit blue. Now we're getting a little bit brown. Now I'm going to have here. Okay, that's good. Like this. Coming a little bit more. Now it's getting more and more dry. So it's much easier, more stable. Okay, let's connect the color. Now over there, this is good. Looking good. I'm going to have this a little bit softer. Now I'm going to have this color coming in here. And also I can see a little bit red shade blue color. So before I move further, I'm going to soften this a little bit. That's just good. I'm going to have a little bit red shade blue color. Another big red shade blue color. That's just good. Right here. Now look at this sky. Beautiful. Okay, here you go. Like that. So a little bit white over here. See a little gap. That's just good. Like this. And coming over. That yeah, still remain to be pretty light. Okay, and a little bit over here. So just keep using the red shade blue color right here. Okay, this is good. And that's good at the top over here too. A little bit color coming down like that. Okay, now I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Okay. But I don't want to make it like all flat. Okay, it needs to be seeing the cloud and the sky behind it. Okay, now I'm going to have a little bit green shade blue color. It's very bright. That's just beautiful. Now I take a look at that. Just tap on it. Just put a little bit color. Okay, this is good. Like that, seeing through. And press a little bit red shade blue color, which is French other marine and like that. That's good. Have a little bit shape over here too. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, there you go. Coming over here. Have a little bit shape, a little bit softer. A little bit softer. That's good. 
Very nice. Okay. Now I'm seeing a little cloud behind. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer, the edge a little bit softer like that. Yeah, and keep using the larger brush at the beginning of any painting. You make it look more connected and cohesive. Okay, okay, here, that's good. And have a little bit gray color over here. That's good. Like that. Okay, now this guy looks is pretty good, but that's on this side. I'm gonna have a little bit more gray. That's a little bit too bright. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, coming like this. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna have a little bit more orange brown color. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, that's good. A little bit orange brown color. That's good. Give a little bit feeling of the layer. That's good. Like that. A little bit darker over here and get a little bit lighter. Now I'll come to on this, this side. Yeah, a little bit more yellow and red. Okay, get a little bit blue. A little bit more blue. Okay, this is good. And I have this a little bit more. You see my brush and just come from the bottom over here coming up to so see a little bit texture. That's good. And now I'm gonna get a little bit water. Here you go. Now I have this connected, connected up over there. Okay, coming over here. That's just pretty good. Now I'm gonna soften this. That's good, like that. And take a look over there. I'm gonna also need to soften that a little bit over here. I'll just lift it up a little bit. Just lifting. Lots of people just knowing how to add, add, add colors. And sometimes we need to remove color by using lifting up technique. This is good. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer coming over. Okay, now this guy is pretty good. Now I'm gonna have this, move this cloud I got this piece of cloud, small cloud, over here, coming onto this side. Okay, that's just pretty good. I'm gonna have that little bit color coming a little bit, extend it a little bit more. Okay, here you go. That's just good, even coming over. And then have this, also see a little bit, a little bit cloud, like that. So. I'm gonna have this soften that a little bit. Here you go. So after you drive, it's much easier to control the color. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit more angular. Just use the flat brush. You can lift color up. And also you can have a little bit lighter right under here. Okay, here you go. That's good. And you won't change much of the colors, but it will make you look a little bit better. Make you have a better judgment. Okay, I'm gonna have this. Okay, that's good. A little bit softer like that. Okay, much better. Okay. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit softer on the top over here. Okay, this is good. This is my second time using this paper. And we have been using Arches uh, Copress paper most of the time. So, so I always compare the new paper 
with the artist corpus paper. Let's see how much is difference. Okay. Whether or not that's something I will be continue using. Okay, this is good. And then it's good. I'm gonna also light up a little bit over here. Let's see how easy to lift up the color. Okay, I'm gonna have this lift light up over here too. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter as well. Okay. Okay, this is pretty good. Except over here, I'm gonna make it a little bit more, a little bit more brownish, gray color. So I'm get a little bit yellow, get a little bit more blue. And a little bit yellow. Now here you go. Now more yellow. Okay, more blue. This is good. All right, I'm gonna have this a little bit softer coming down all the way over here. Here you go, like that. Okay, that's nice. And I'm gonna continue taking the color all the way down over here. Okay. I'm gonna mixing a little bit more brown color. Okay, here you go. A little bit blue. Okay. A little bit more blue. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a look at right here. I'm gonna have this a little bit darker. That's good, like that. Here you go. That's good. Okay. Now it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna continue doing more lifting. Okay, like this. I'm gonna do a little bit more lifting over here. Okay. Okay, the sky looks pretty nice. I'm gonna have a little bit more blue color and continue adding it right here. Like that, pretty nice. Continue have this color all the way come to this side. Okay. That's the cloud looks pretty nice. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Okay, this is considered the background elements. Now I'm gonna let you drive and come back to paint the boat. I'm gonna using the calligraphy brush just to put a very light brown color. We already have this color here. This is good. And which one I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna do the one here and then do the one away here second. So I'm gonna do this one right here. Okay, push it down, this is good. And I'm not sure how big it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna just put a little shape over here. Now coming all the way over here, take a look at this shape. This one is gonna be right here like that, coming down. And then I would know how big that would be. So the, the other one, the other bird right here. I'm gonna have this coming up and down like this. Let's see, this good. This, the other wing. 
like that. That's the body. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I know exactly how I'm going to arrange them. So I'm going to have continue using this light brown color first. And I'm going to take a look at this one, this bird coming. I'm going to let it separate a little bit. It's coming here. Okay, it doesn't need to be overlapping that much. Okay, there's the body. There's the wing coming down over here, like that. Look at that, this is good. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have that, the texture for the wing. All right, now the layout is already there. So I appear to be, I make the bird a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna have this, also this bird coming up over here, all the way down over here, like that. And a little bit brown color. That's good. And like that. And the tail, and the body, and there's the head. There's the beak. That's good. And then, that will be the other wing. This is pretty good. Now I already know exactly how big that's supposed to be. So this is the tail. And, okay, that's the tail. Like that. That's the body over here. And that's the head. Like that, this is good. All right. Continue, and here you go. Now, this is a little bit darker. There's also a little bit darker shape over here too, like this. That's good. Now coming back here, and this wing, and there's another wing over here, and Coming down over here. That's the other side of this wing. Coming down like this. And there's the body. Okay. And I'm going to have some a little bit darker color. This is the wing. Come at this, the top of the wing over here. Okay. Now I'm going to mix uh, the color a little bit darker by half this blue and the yellow. Just get a little bit thicker and get the Plus some blue and get a little bit more red. This is good. And get more blue. That's good. A little bit more yellow. Let's see. Now the color. A lot darker. That's good. Okay. Now I'll take a look at one at a time. And I'm going to have this. Look at that. Look at it, feel feather at the edge. That's good. Coming all the way here. Like this, and a couple feather coming to the body over here, a little bit more. That's good, that's good shape. Okay, this is the tail. And here you go. Now, it's pretty good. I'm going to have the mid-tone a little bit later. So, the head and the beak. Very easy. And, okay. That's the darker side. Now, I'm going to zoom in, have it a little bit bigger with the brown color, and like this, there you go, that's good. Take a look at this boat, and over here, and see that, that's good. Like this, and have a little bit illusion of the feather on the wing, this is good, and the tail, and take a look at the bottom over here. Coming over here, this is good. And 
and I'm gonna have something a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna have somewhere a little bit cooler. So let's have to get a little bit more blue. Okay, this is good. And right here, the body, the belly of the bird. Here you go. Coming the feather. Like that. There's a little feather. A little bit apart. That's good. So we can see a little bit head. Right there. That's good. And that's good. And a little bit darker. Over there. Now I'm going to use a little bit water to make it a little bit softer. So I'm going to have this first. I'm going to set this color a little bit darker. Now I'm going to have the water soften that a little bit. And that's a little bit softer over there. And we're going to use the much darker color a little bit later. Now I'm going to continue and working on this one. Okay, one information, one layer at a time, like that. I'm gonna have that little bit more blue, a little bit blue in the tip. Okay, I'm gonna just have this connect that over. That's good. And gonna have a little bit, that's good, a little bit like that, that's good. That's the wing. That's good. And then the head. And here you go. That's the head. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit darker for under there. That's good. Under right here and the belly, a little bit curve. Keep looking at the shapes. It's much easier to paint shape. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that and take a look at this. This is the belly. And the top over there, it has enough brown color. So this the feather, I'm gonna have that a little bit shape like that. That's good. A little bit darker. Yeah, there. Okay. That's pretty good. And a little bit brown. And then I put the little head here. See that? That's a little bit head. Just a little beak like that. That's good. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Now take a look at this one. This actually shapes is pretty good. I just need to have the wing a little bit darker right here. Okay, that's I'm gonna give a little suggestions for the feather on the wing. Like that. Like that, that's pretty good. And a little bit darker at the belly. This is good. So this wing and can be angle coming a little bit more here. Okay, at the front over here at the top like that. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to use a little bit darker color. Okay, here you go. I'm going to mix this a very dark color by having a lot more blue with the red. You see, I only use this three primary color. Sometimes I use this uh, French Ardemarine, which is the red straight blue color. Now I'm going to take a look at, start from here, let push down, and look at that stroke. Push it down like that and drag it, down and drag 
and pushing it down like that. Look at that, beautiful. And I'm gonna curve this and connect it to the bottom over here, see? And then the head over here, a little bit darker like that. And the edge over here can be a little bit darker. Doesn't need to be this dark, this is good. Okay, and then take a look at this one. A little bit, push it down a little bit darker. Okay, don't worry about it, just do it. Okay, right here, look first. Okay, coming here, and then push it down and up, like that. Beautiful. Okay, and take a look at this one, and make this a little bit darker, like that. And that, the wing over here, I'm gonna have the edge over here a little bit darker too. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have this wing coming from here and all the way down like this. That's good. Like that, that put it good. And that's put it good. I'm gonna have that give a little bit, you see? Start from the mid tone and gradually going darker and lighter. Okay, that's good. A little bit darker right here. Like that. Pretty good. And then head over here at the bottom. A little bit darker. Okay, now take a look at this boat. This is very easy. So push it down like that. A little bit darker. And Keep it a couple, couple tap. And over here, the angle, I'm gonna change it a little bit, right here. Like that, that's pretty good. That's good. Have a little bit curve like this. Okay. And this wing, I'm gonna have it a little bit longer. Okay, like that, and this is, looks very, very good. What I would like to do, uh, either you're gonna use the garage, the garage pin, I'm gonna use the little scratching to see how this gonna, this paper will react. I'm gonna give it, just be a little bit persistent, okay? Keep it just a little bit light shape right over here. That's is good. Okay, and then I'm gonna scratch a little bit right here. Like that, just a little bit. Okay, that's good. And take a look at what else. And don't overdo it. I'm gonna have this and the gap over here a little bit lighter. Okay, that's pretty good. Over here too. Okay. A little bit lighter. Okay, that's good. A little bit lighter over here. Nice. Now I'm gonna give it a few Simple tip. Got a little red over here, a little bit. Okay, and have one, two, or three. Just one, beautiful. Two, like this, and three over here, like that. That's good. And I'm gonna have this a little bit smoother. Like that. That's good. And I'm gonna have just a little bit brown color. And here you go, the brown color. Have another little bit over there. Okay, here we go. Like this. Little bit brown. Little bit longer tail. That's just good. Okay. Yeah, that's beautiful boots. And a little bit line. Okay. So
So if you want, you can give this paper a try. And definitely a lot less expensive, but it's 100% cotton paper. So look at the video description. There's a link. You can click on it and you can get discount when you're coming over to the site to purchase it. And then this painting, consider finish. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I do this in another YouTube channel. The link is in the description. I know that life can sometimes be headache and messy, but I hope that with art, you can relax and just enjoy the moment. I will see you in my next video.